When you're a little kid, spinning around is fun. But who says you can't have fun when you're older? Hardly a classic example, but yes, we're talking head spins. Your head is one of the more important parts of your body. But if you're content to wear away that bit, then at least let the laws of science keep your other bits from harm. First, push yourself around to build up angular momentum. You can think of this as spinniness. For balance, keep your legs down so that your centre of gravity is low and directly over your head. To accelerate your spin, stick your legs straight up. The narrower your distribution of mass, the faster you spin. It's the law of conservation of angular momentum. So, first off, getting into a spin. Some start slow, pushing themselves around by hand. Some go for fancy moves, building angular momentum before they enter the spin. And some don't do either. Whatever you do do, you do need to build up that angular momentum. Your head won't spin itself, unless you're possessed. This guy is working hard to build up that momentum. Perhaps it'll get him right into a head spin. <laughs> or just a roly-poly. You're after a slightly more circular motion than that. And remember, keep your centre of gravity over your head, not beyond it. Even more tricky if you're going for the fancy moves technique. Oh, and especially difficult if you put a woolly hat over your head. Oh, don't worry. Nobody's looking. Least of all, you. And that's just as well. Once you're in a spin, balance is largely about keeping your legs low and wide to maintain a low centre of gravity. But not that low. Oh, and do make sure the length of your legs doesn't exceed the space you're in. Once you've perfected your balance, the really tricky part, sticking your legs up straight to accelerate your spin. But there is one problem. The higher your legs, the higher your centre of gravity, which won't help your balance. <laughs> or your reputation.